Nope, there he goes. Go, go pee, go potty, go potty. No, 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 no. So I'm trying to teach Quincy to walk next to me without wearing a leash and usually it doesn't work and he just sprints away and I have to chase him but I'm trying to work on it and I think he's getting better so Quincy come on but walk with me here we go don't run away come on let's go if I hold my hand out like this he thinks he's I think he thinks he's wearing a leash stay right there buddy <laughs> so as long as I hold my hand out right here he usually stays next to me but then once he catches a break sometimes he'll just sprint Quincy, don't you don't you pick up speed now. You stay right next to me. I'm hoping we can make it around the whole cul-de-sac without him sprinting. Quincy, stay. Stay with me. Oh boy. Doing a good job. <laughs> There's times when he just like sprints up really fast. Oh, see, I, 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 I didn't put my hand down, so he started running faster. Quincy, stay looking. <laughs> don't you pick up speed now. Hey, stop. You're getting a little too fast. You can pee right here. Now chill. Come on. No. Damn, nope. There he goes. Go pee. Go potty. Go potty. No, 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 no. Stop it. Quincy, slow down. That's it. I gave you one chance. Come here. Stay. Quincy, stop it! Now! Slow down! That's a no! I give you one shot, buddy, and you blow it. You're a fast one. He does well for like half, half of it, and then all of a sudden, he picks up more and more speed, and then, boom, he takes off. You had your chance for a long walk, and you just ruined it. The other day, Quincy sprinted through a house that had one of those really spiked fences and I had to pull off some Jackie Chan type stuff and leap it in order to catch up to him otherwise I wouldn't have caught him at all he would have been gone that's not good you don't run away from me like that go you thinking about what you did to me buddy you're in the little timeout chair you make me chase you halfway down the block because you can't listen to me so now you get to sit in timeout chair for at least 20 minutes, you hear me? You stay there now. You stay. Okay? I'll be back for you. If you move, I'm gonna add another 30 minutes on, okay? Oh, that's it. You did it. You did it. You moved. You are just not being a good listener today, are ya? That's okay. Sometimes I'll give you a break. Aw, oh, look at you, buddy. How can I resist loving you for doing this? Oh, I'm sorry for yelling at you. Now just lean forward a little bit. Just think you want to go forward and you'll go. I don't know how. I don't just... know how. I don't know how. I'm afraid I'll go. No, no, you won't go fast. You're going to run the guitar. I feel like a little kid walking my first time. See, just, <laughs> just go down the thing. I look like Darsh from my daycare. <laughs> you look like a child. Did you know Quincy tried to run away today? Really? I did not know that. Yeah, I tried to walk him and then he at one point just bolted. Well, that's typical Quincy for you. Have you ever had to chase Quincy? Yes, the garage had opened. And I was going somewhere and he ran out dashing at some couple that was across the street. <laughs> and so I dashed like a madman to um, rescue him from the couple and their dog. But so. because there was a dog, it slowed him down? Yes, I mean, he was going, he was trying to do things to the dog, so. He was what? He was trying to do things to the dog. Like what? We won't discuss that. <laughs> Were you trying to hump the puppies? What about a time where he didn't get stopped, like he just took off? If you were to chase somewhere? That was like seven years ago. What happened? When he was, so he was one year old? This is when he like, had, he wouldn't stop. He just would keep on going. <laughs> what it happened? It was like a whole block before I found it, finally caught him. What did he do? Why, how did you catch up to him? Um, how did I catch up to him? Yeah. Um, well, eventually he has to go, you know, tinkle. Yeah. <laughs> so, so when he stopped, you just grabbed him? 
Um, so yes, then I caught him and then, um... What do you do? I punished him. How did you punish him? I used an angry tone with him. So you said, you're bad. Yes, essentially. I think he's still ashamed of what he did earlier. I told him he had to sit in timeout for 20 minutes. Did you make him? I made him and then he got up immediately and ran away. Actually, I felt too bad for him because he has such a cute face. It's really hard to like. Look at that face. How do you how do you punish that face? It's so adorable. It's adorable. Could you back that thing up, please? I mean, honestly. Thomas, it looks more flattering when you're up close up. No, it does not. No one's face looks flattering up close. Can I have my own <laughs> martini? It's not yours. You don't like martinis. You like Manhattans. Can I have my own martini? No. Can I have my own martini? <laughs> <laughs> my martini. No, it's his martini. He said, okay, you have your martini. I don't want any of this. Really like Manhattans, not martinis. <laughs> That's going to be all for today's vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, I'd like to give a shout out to Julie Parsons. Thank you for staying active on my Twitter. I do appreciate that. Remember to like and hit that subscribe button. And Thomas, mm. where are we going tomorrow? We're going to the Drake. In Chicago. Yeah. I thought it'd be cool to take to film my some... My favorite Chicago hotel. Your favorite one. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to... I thought it'd be cool to go up there and film some videos. So, that's what we're going to be doing. Too bad we won't have Quincy, right? Yes, we won't have him like last time. Yeah. yeah, we won't have him like last time, so you can't poop on the carpet, buddy. The first pet, the first, the Quincy in the drink hotel. What if, what if you get there and they say, no, he pooped in the carpet last time, you can't stay here? I would be mortified. <laughs> <laughs> they never let you stay there again. I would be, that would be a tragedy, a real tragedy, really, <laughs> because it's my favorite, that's been my favorite Chicago. Movie. I really hope that happens, and then we have to stay at like a Motel 6. No, we'd be at the Wild Orf in Chicago. <laughs> no, we'd be at a Motel 6. <laughs> no, we at the Wild Orf. Yeah. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and the next one will be filled with Chicago adventures with Thomas. And we'll see you on... A Sunday. Quincy, you know what to do, buddy. Say bye!